welcome to another video so for today's video i'm going to be cooking up um, some fish i'm using kingfish sliced fish local fish product of jamaica this is about two pounds notice the price tag not because it says super value fresh foods but notice the price tag two thousand seven hundred and seventy one dollars and sixty cents for this fish legit there are about six slices of fish in this package Aksadi. so um i'm going to be preparing this fish and i'm going to be putting it with another local favorite and this happens to be bami so i'm using cherry homemade bami um this one here is actually manufactured all the way down there in ballads valley in junction saint elizabeth and as you can see here there's some information here in case you want to make contact to get their bamis normally i would purchase um rainforest bamis but when i went to the supermarket today that was not there and so i had to take what would be the next best thing so this one works for me you know why because these bami pieces are cherry bamis so they're smaller and they're actually um sliced a little bit more thin or would we say thinly whichever one is the correct vocabulary right now anyway so there are 16 pieces in here which is nice you can eat a lot one person can eat at least four okay so um <laughs> You won't look craven because they're so small. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix this. I haven't decided just yet what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do this half and half. Maybe I will escovitch half of it and then probably do like a sweet and sour sauce for the other. So this is a perfect meal that you can include for whether it is Christmas Day or Boxing Day. You want to go something traditional but not something heavy, right? Something kind of light and something that's quick and easy. This is what you can look into so i have my lemon bath here sitting down waiting to receive the fish you know the drill i am going to do a double wash i do vinegar and i do lime all right or lemon whichever one is readily available in the marketplace so stay tuned as i take you through the process all right guys so while we're waiting on the fish to be ready for preparation um i have gone on and i've decided that i would work on my little mixture here to soak my bami some persons don't soak their bami they just go boom and fry them i don't like it like that i like the, the cassava to be flavorful so i have made some coconut milk i had coconut in my fridge and i went and i blended that up in the um vitamix and then guess what i did i seasoned up the coco coconut milk a little bit Add a little bit of spice so i have literally one drop of almond essence here i also have one tops of vanilla these are less than half teaspoon you know so this is why i'm referring to them as tops i have a little bit of salt and i also have some cinnamon in the coconut milk and so i'm just gonna drop my bami pieces here notice what is happening just a few pieces allow it to be submerged allow it to soak and um, of course later on when it is time to fry you will see what they look like all right so bami 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 go soak away in the meantime guys while this is being soaked i'm going to prep the fish all right guys so um i am now ready to prepare the fish so on the stove here i have some coconut oil and i've added some garlic just to allow the flavor to become infused in that oil. Um, shortly before frying, I'm going to add a scotch bonnet pepper. Again, we're talking about flavor. Boom, over here, the fish pieces are ready. They're seasoned. Um, I had them sitting there for about 10 minutes, so they're fully marinated. And um, as soon as this is fully golden brown, that's when I'm going to know that the oil is ready to receive the fish. All right, so I've added a piece of pepper okay not an entire pepper just a piece just to add a little bit of heat because again i am not the only person who will consume this fish and i cannot afford for persons to be crying while eating so don't mind the fact that this looks as though it is going burnt in literally two minutes i'm going to be taking this out because all of the flavor would have been released in the oil so i've added two pieces of fish to the pan now what's important here is that the pan is not overcrowded because once that happens the temperature is going to decrease and then it's going to just cause a lot of complications the second thing to remember now when frying the fish is that once you hit the pot 
And it's um, once a pot's hot and you hit it with the fish, you want to allow the fish to rest there until it is fried. If you try to move it around before the time, you're going to run into problems. What do I mean? It's going to stick and then your fish, your fish is going to be broken. Listen, all right, this smells so good. You should smell that garlic infused coconut oil. Divine. All right, guys, so once one side is done, I'm going to flip it. This is a uh, kingfish. And this kingfish is fit for some queens. All right, so the first side of the fish is fried and I have flipped it for the other side now to be fried. Look at the color on it. That's really nice. Um, the only thing that is on it is just the seasoning. So there's no flour, there's no butter, there's nothing. Just the fish, the seasoning on the fish, cooking the oil. All right, guys, so let's just go through these rounds and then I'm going to show you what I'll do. Should I uh, make a few pieces sweet and sour or and and or should I just make it extra rich? All right, by the time I get to the end, I'll decide. You don't know the drill. I don't always know what it is that I'm going to do. As I cook and a vibe hit me, I just add something or try something, right? So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. All right, my people. So, the fish is finished. Of course, you know what? The decision is that this is going to be escovitch fish. So, I am now going to um, make the pickle. So, I have some onions that I have ringed. And I also have some carrots that I have julienne. And I do have some hot pepper. Scotch hot pepper. So that's going to be burning, 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 burning. The heat is real, right? All right, so first things first. I'm just going to pick the pot with the um, onion. I know this just to sweat a little bit. Mm -mm, it tastes no good. I have the coconut oil. You just throw off the oil from the fish in order to do this. So the coconut oil infused with the garlic that is still going. So I want that to sweat a little bit. I'm going to it on. It so good. It's so good. Oh, it smells good. I want to be kind of chunky, man. Mm -mm. I'm going to be great this up. Anyway, it's a nice one. I don't know the drill. It smells good. All right, so while the onion is first cooking, I'm going to hit this with the carrot. And the same thing, just basically saute. All right, so um, this is how we'd want it. So I'm adding now just a little bit of pepper now. Normally you make pickle, you know, it's a lot of pepper that you want to put in there. But like I said, I'm not the only person who is going to be consuming this meal. <coughs> mm -hmm. Pepper is our can up. Yeah, I'm not the only person who will consume this. So a part of it is that I don't want it to um, be too, too spicy. All right, now I'm just going to turn the fire off because I don't want the onions to become more translucent. And then here's what I'm going to do now. I am going to be hitting this with a little bit of vinegar. You can't see it because I'm not pouring it from... I have the vinegar here in the container. I don't want a lot. Just enough to flavor this. So I'm using like a little spoon. Fork actually. Lazy enough to get a spoon. So I'm using a fork just to get some of that vinegar. Um in the pot guys youtube youtube on a pm in a youtube just to tell you so no need to just come up with it no sure no say if we can in the world of artificial intelligence and we can do so many things we must can get one of them with a scent button there man sure make something go on you know what i mean just like for something something to go on all right so this is about ready this is ready guys, this is ready. So I'm going to plate the fish now. And of course I'm going to show you the frying of the bami. Cause this is gonna be served with bami. So let's get to the bami now. So I'm about to fry the bami. I have added some coconut oil to the frying pan. As you can see, there's another pot over there doing its thing. That's the rice. I'm making some jasmine rice as well. So um, once this is heated, I'm going to be putting the um, 
the bami which we had soaked in coconut milk and um cinnamon and almond oil and um a little bit of vanilla right so this is gonna hit the pot shortly so we're not gonna crowd the pot so we have our bamis now here in the oil it's doing its thing now one of the key things that we need to remember is that we don't want this bami to be tough not everybody can fry bami without it being tough so what i do to ensure that it comes out perfectly fine is to steam fry the bami so it's going to be here it's going to brown up first and then after it has completed that process is when i'm going to hit the pot with the cover and allow it to just steam through and then i'll repeat the process for the other pieces of bami so we'll wait for the finished product guys all right guys so the bami is finished um as you can see they're golden brown some persons like them lighter some persons like them darker this is how i like them okay so um yeah so i'm gonna be adding this bami now to our fish and then i will show you the final thing me excited me just want to eat all right guys so this is it my escovage fish with bami this is a perfect dish that you could do to add to your traditional Christmas get up, your traditional Christmas recipe. Try this recipe. Let me know how it turns out. Of course, spam the comment section. Let me know if you like this. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bon appetit.